What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Varsity Overland channel. Today I'm going to be looking at a simple yet essential piece of recovery gear every overlander should have in their rig. And that would be a good reliable set of recovery boards, sometimes referred to as traction boards. Uh, luckily the Vic Off-Road Company reached out to me a few weeks ago about testing out their new kind of newly designed recovery board, comparing it to my Expo recovery board I've been running on the rig for about a year now. Of course, I happily agreed. So today, you're gonna to get an in-depth, unbiased, extreme comparison video between these two recovery boards. Well, I mean, maybe not that extreme. So here we are looking at the unboxing of the two brands, Vic Off-Road on the left, Expo Recovery on the right, and um, there are some pretty big differences between what you get when you buy one of these products, all right? And since we're talking about the company really quick, I do want to give a really big shout out to Vic Off-Road for sponsoring this video. They are an Australian-based company that has a USA branch, so if you go to their website, make sure you're clicking on the USA um flag in the top right hand corner so that you get their their usa branch but they have a whole bunch of stuff on their website lots of recovery gear traction boards different brands of traction boards winches light bars you can go vehicle specific you can go just general general gear uh it's a really cool website and i i spent some time sifting around a lot of their stuff which i might invest in in the future so i would definitely recommend checking them out but going through these two recovery boards, this is kind of what you get, all right? So I'm gonna start with Expo because there isn't a whole lot. Um, obviously, you get your boards, and then you get this big bag. Boards, bag, okay? And I believe, if I can put it up on the screen right now, the uh, the price for these Expos that we got was about $100, maybe like $99 it says, or something like that, okay? Now for a similar price on the Vic Off-Road website, all right, I think it says 100 bucks. I've heard some other people say 117 or something like that. Um, you'll get your two recovery boards and then also a bunch of stuff that comes in this box, okay? So I'll set up the, the camera on a tripod so I can kind of dump out everything that's in the box onto the tailgate and we'll sift through it and see what you get. All right, so it looks like other than the recovery boards themselves, you get a couple extra items in the package. This item, which I'm very happy to use, um, is going to be a stand for your high lift jack, but then also act as a connector to put both of the recovery boards together at the same time. Uh, and I'm hoping maybe we'll make use of that today. Is it this way? Yeah. Sits in there real nice. Tetris block or something like that. So, these things are really cool. Um, these ropes are not actually used for their, their original purpose I thought it was for was to keep them together, rope them together or something. What they're actually used for is to tie to the end of the recovery board in case you get it buried in the dirt or the sand or the snow while you're getting your truck out of that situation uh, and you don't have to dig through it with your hands, you can actually just reach for the tether, reach for the rope and pull it out that way um, so that you know, you're know you not getting all covered in mud and all caked up. So this is, it, I mean, it's really basic and simple, but I think it's genius, it's so smart. First of all, the material of this bag versus the material of the X-Bowl bag I can feel already is, is a lot thicker, okay? And also, it looks like there's a whole nother pouch right here 
this block would fit in there perfectly. Look at that. Okay. Awesome. All right. Um, and you'll notice the brand that says on the side of the box and also on the side of the bag is Bunker Indust. Not industries, just Bunker Indust. Um, so these are still Vic Off-Roads recovery boards. Um, and I think this is maybe a company that they work with to just kind of like produce their gear. Okay. Um, hold up. Something else I just noticed. No way. Okay. Check that out. Velcro parts to allow it to attach. That is, that's something else. I'm really impressed with that. That's pretty cool. All right, so next let's take a look at the design uh, and the feel of these two recovery boards compared to one another. Um, right off the bat, you'll notice, comparing the size of the two, the Vic Off Road boards, the orange ones, look like they stack a little better than the Expo boards do. Um, you see a big old space between the Expo's and much less of a space here between the Vic off-road boards, all right? Um, so, you know, when you're overlanding, you're traveling, you're camping, finding storage for all of your gear is, is always a struggle. And just having a, another inch, you know, even another half inch of clearance somewhere would do great. You know, if I had to, if I had to get these boards, the Vic off-road boards off of the truck and put them into the bed and like stick them on top of a, a storage case underneath my Tanu cover. I think it would fit perfectly on top of a case just as the Tanu cover closed. Whereas the Expo boards, they might be a little bit harder to make fit. With the Expos, they're kind of sloped here, right? It has that, that little decline, that little slope here. And it's the same thing on the other side. All right, so it's an exact copy on both sides, um, which means the bottom is just pretty much flat. Now the difference between that and the Vic off-road board would be the slope is a little bit more like a wedge on one side. Now the opposite end does not, does not have that slope. Um, it has a handle area instead. So what that means is these traction boards can really only be applied in one direction, which honestly I'll probably mark as like a negative aspect of it. You have to only apply them in one direction. However, the reason why uh, they only have that wedge or that slope in one direction is because this area is where you would apply the attachment to connect the two together. So when the two are connected together, they do have wedges on both sides. Uh, lastly, I want to mention the handles. Normally when, you know, you get stuck, one of the biggest, the biggest ways that retract, uh, traction boards, recovery boards can be utilized is as a shovel. Um, you know, you get your hand on one side, hand on the other side, and you kind of use it to like, shovel out whatever's underneath your truck, snow, sand, um, just to kind of like unveil the wheel so you could stick the board underneath there. And I'll admit, these handles, they just, they feel good. They're smooth, no jagged edges, no problems in here, no jagged parts on the other side. It's just, it's easy to grip. They fit together nicely and as opposed to the x bolts when they're stacked uh, it's not not happening not as easy okay i can't really nope okay so i can't hold both of them while they're stacked and then one individually, I can get my fingers in there, you know, kind of like a, I don't know, I guess. If you're willing to bend your fingers like this, then you're willing to, <laughs> to hold it, but I can't actually like grasp it completely with my hands all the way around like you can here. Like, look, I can fit almost, almost all the way through to the palm of my hand in there. 
even my thumb, right? Grasp the entire thing. So I like that. I like that definitely a lot better than, uh, than the X poles. I feel like they're going to be easier to use. So next is going to be the high lift jack. Safety first. So first thing I'm going to mention about utilizing a high lift jack with the Vic off-road boards is the amazing convenience of this piece right here. So what this does is it fits into the perfect uh, slots here on the recovery board. This kind of angular piece, this rectangle, is an exact fit for the bottom of your high lift jack. So it fits in there very nicely. It's got a flat surface right here. Um, I, I don't see any any wear and tear or any issues on the Vic off-road board um, when employed with the high lift jack. But if we take a look at the x board, because it's not like a completely stable flat surface, um, the weight I don't feel like is evenly distributed with the high lift jack and some of these pegs got got really beat up look you could completely see how that one got cut in half probably by the edge of the high lifts um mount or the high lifts you know foot at the bottom um this one got torn up the most it looks like but you know overall it just i don't really think it's supported that well you know so all right so i got myself over here to a little sandy beach by the river put it into two-wheel drive parked it and floored it um, and I got the tires kind of deep I was able to bring out the shovel and try to bury them a little bit more myself this one seems to be a little worse and uh, I'll see if I can pack it in a little bit and then bring out the recovery boards we'll see how we do in the loose sand then we'll move on There just is not a good, easy way to hold these things. Something I'm already noticing, the placement of the handle at the back and the way that I could fit my entire hand around the other grips at least it's easier to use than the x -Bowl. Well, that was unexpected. There's actually just a little bit of uh, smoke. I can smell it. Let's try that again. Well, I got to admit, that was surprising to me. I mean, I've had so much 
so much positivity about these boards. They actually spun. And I'm trying to see if there's any sort of, uh, yeah, here we go. We got some wearing away here. I wonder what, uh, I wonder what happened. The one on the other side caught just fine. Um, this one, this one had some trouble for sure. At least in this situation, it looks like the x bowl worked a little bit better. I threw it into, uh, threw it into four wheel in order to get it out of here. Sand test, Vic Off-Road had higher hopes for that. We'll have to see how everything else goes. All right, so this one's just purely for curiosity's sake. Vic Off-Road said that they wanted me to beat the heck out of these things. So I've seen a few people do it online with boards very similar to these and actually the predecessors to these boards. So why not? Well, they can definitely bend, <laughs> that's for sure. So something that I noticed right after I removed both of the recovery boards out from under the vehicle was whether or not they retain their original shape. But it looks like the Vic off-road board, for the most part, what I can tell, is fairly flat. However, the x bull board looks to me at least like there's a slight bend. There's a little warp. Maybe. Let's see if I can keep this up, prop this up. Yeah, do you see it? It's ever so slight, but there's a little bend in there. An upward bend. So if I had to guess, I'd say that is purely based on the material. The Vic off-road board looks like it's, you know, it's more durable, it feels more durable, it's slightly heavier, so I'd say that it wants to bounce back a little bit easier and, and retain its rigidity versus the x bull board. All right, so we're coming up towards the end of my comparison. Obviously, I already started getting a little muddy. Saving the messiest part for last. Taking the hard way out of the state forest. And this would be the situation where, probably one of the only situations where I could honestly think of using the attachment, um, that that center, center attachment piece that works between the two Vic off-road boards. Um, and laying that down because when it comes to a big puddle of mud, even some rutted out areas, 
it's kind of hard to tell what's under there. It's hard to tell how deep it is. Um, and you never want to put yourself in a situation where you're legitimately just kind of stuck in the middle, like dead center of a giant mud pit because you got to hop out, you got to figure out what's going on. And, uh, you know, if the, if the truck is stuck, chances are it's kind of deep and then you hop in and who knows. We are going to prep the Vic off-road board with the connector. Unfortunately, I, I'm not even going to bother with x um, It's I just feel like it's a little extra. If, if not for the connector, I probably wouldn't even be putting myself in the mud situation anyway. Um, not because I'm afraid, afraid of getting dirty, um, just because stuff stinks and uh it's getting late i'm getting tired so i'm gonna put this together lay it down in the mud um and uh we'll see what happens Well, I thought I thought the ice was gonna break um, underneath the the beginning, the first the first section of the recovery board. I thought the ice was gonna break through, which is why I started with the recovery board up there. I feel like if it had broken through, I mean, I would have had I have a little bit more of a peace of mind knowing that there's still like a solid flat surface beneath me, even though maybe I fell through the ice there. Um, but it held, which was which was strange actually. Um, but it looks like they held together, even though as I was kind of like fumbling around with it to put it in place, it fell apart. So I don't know. Um, I'll take some time to think about this process, the use of that, that specific tool that joins them together. Um, I'll let you know my final thoughts, you know, as soon as I get back to the house and, uh, wrap up this video. So let's get out of here. All right, people. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. I know that it was a long one, but I really wanted to do the recovery boards justice um, and do kind of like an honest comparison. Vic Off-Road versus x -Bowl. If I had to choose between the two boards, honestly, they felt pretty equal to me. Other than maybe the material that the Vic Off-Road boards are made of, they feel pretty sturdy. Um, and obviously, you know, all the materials that you get inside the bag or I should say inside the box. Um, so it, it feels like it's a better deal. But as far as performance, both boards were pretty close. Um, I will probably run the Vic off-road boards on the rig for a little while, at least, you know, the next two to three months um, and see how they hold up under under re repeated use and uh, maybe also under the weather and, the, and, you know, the constant sun exposure. So I'll have to uh, check back with you guys in the future to let you know how that goes. The only terrain that I didn't get a chance to test the Vic off-road boards on was snow or ice. Uh, but last last week, I made a video where I was able to employ them on a hill with some ice. So I'll throw that little uh, little tag up here in the in the corner if you want to check out that video. Um, where I was riding with my buddy on, on Jericho Trail here in Connecticut. Um, but yeah, other than that, I appreciate it. I know it's a long video. I appreciate you guys sticking around and, um, you know, and, and, and toughing through it. So it means a lot to me. And as always, peace, people.